Tonight at 11, a shakeup at the Fulton County Jail. Tonight, three top-ranking jailers, part of the sheriff's own executive team, are out. They have resigned after the sheriff asked them to step down. And this comes just days after the family of an inmate revealed horrifying evidence on how he died in his cell. John Shirick has the story as the sheriff says the shakeup is just getting started. The photos just released from inside the Fulton County Jail showing LaShawn Thompson's cell, the bed bug infested cell where Thompson was being held for a misdemeanor charge, where he died this past summer. Photos that were part of the medical examiner's autopsy of Thompson. They are now part of the public outcry over conditions inside the jail that led Fulton County Sheriff Patrick Labatt to declare Monday, quote, it is past time to clean house. Out are three veteran members of the sheriff's executive team, the chief jailer, Colonel John Jackson, and two assistant chief jailers, Lieutenant Colonel Derek Singleton and Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lee. The Thompson's family attorney, Michael Harper, applauds the sheriff's actions, and yet. We have to say that the sheriff was aware of uh, LaShawn Thompson's death back in September and, and the conditions in which he died back in September. So we do have to wonder if the international attention to this case is what made the sheriff make the changes. Sheriff Labatt was not available for an interview Monday evening. Ever since he took office in 2021, Labatt has decried conditions at the jail, which was built in the late 1980s. It's deplorable. It is, we need to treat people better. I have a duty, I took an oath. I have a duty to treat people humanely. Sheriff Labatt also now investigating to find out all those on his staff who might have failed Thompson. Attorney Michael Harper points to years of ongoing problems inside the jail threatening the lives of inmates and staff alike. But better late than never, and, and maybe to save another family from having to go through another tragic, unnecessary death. And Harper says he still plans to lead a protest on Thursday at the jail over conditions inside where LaShawn Thompson spent the final weeks of his life. In Atlanta, John Shirick, 11 Alive News.